We're learning more this afternoon about the 10 year old boy who died yesterday while hiking in the heat. Yeah, this is devastating. Fox 10's Lauren Clark joins us live near South Mountain tonight where that scene all unfolded yesterday. So Lauren, what are police revealing? Well, Mark and Christina, Phoenix police now have the name of that 10 year old boy. They've identified him as Cortinas Lopez and say his family just moved here to Phoenix from Missouri. Say they were out hiking in the morning when crews later had to airlift him to the hospital. It affects everyone. It affects uh, firefighters, it affects multiple families. It's a uh, real tragic situation. A sight difficult for first responders. A young child struggling in the hot July heat. Skyfox captured the team helping the boy before airlifting him to the hospital. He later died there from his heat-related injuries. Just stay off the mountains. It's extremely hot out right now. Todd Keller with Phoenix Fire says it's a grave example of how deadly the heat can be. You gotta remember, if you're going and hiking, you're not only putting yourself at danger, you're putting your firefighters at danger also. Officials say the family started on the mountain at 9.30 in the morning. The call came in around 2 at the Mormon Trailhead. Keller warns that visitors and those new to the valley might not understand just how hazardous these summer temperatures can be and warns that even hiking early can be dangerous this time of the year. These people are hiking, maybe they'll start around 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, it's 105 plus degrees, so that heat does sneak up on them. If we have prolonged exposure to the heat and we're not hydrating appropriately, that can cause us to be at risk probably for not only dehydration, but heat exhaustion with prolonged exposure to the heat. A sentiment echoed by naturopathic physician Sarah Traha, who says this can be particularly difficult when you're outside hiking, getting your heart rate up. This afternoon, around the same time crews arrived to help the boy, our temperature gun recorded 136 degrees on the trail, 107 in the shade. The sidewalk, a blazing 147. But just be smart about it, you know, don't risk anything, even if you're young and healthy. And the city of Phoenix is also urging caution for anyone who decides to go outside and hike during these temperatures. They say they have to uh, rescue an average of 200 people each year. Reporting live here in Phoenix, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.